boom, another win for the Sooners. We got a commitment, the 17th for this class of 2024. We got Michael Patterson McDonald has just committed to the Sooners. So you know we're excited. We got to talk about it. He's staying at home in state. The Westmore High School product decided that Norman is the place for him over UNLV, Houston, Michigan State, as well as Missouri. So let's dive into the film. Let's talk about Michael Patterson McDonald. And hopefully you all are watching the live stream that I just did of him actually making a commitment because I'm physically there right now. This is pre-recorded. Let's talk about it. But before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I am your host, Jay. Thank you all for pulling up here on the YouTube channel. If you are new to the channel and you like our content, hit the like button as well as subscribe. We would love to have you a part of this family. Talking a lot of OU football and college football in general. And as we do these commitments, you'll see me in the all-in shirt, which is my commitment shirt with the chip. These players are all in, and so we're stoked to talk about them. And so let's dive into the film real quick, and then we'll look at, um, you know, of course, the measurables and all that jazz, and let's take it away. All right, so Michael. About 5'9 and a half, 5'10, about 175 pounds safety out of Westmore High School in um, the Moorish, Oklahoma area. So he is uh, rated for the most part consensus top 10 player in the state of Oklahoma. Overall, he's he's consensus and composite three star, but rivals has him as a four star. They think that he is one of the top 30 safeties in the country, which is pretty good accolades. And everyone else has him at about a hundred range. And so there's a lot to like about the player. There's a lot to like about the kid himself. And also, I mean, you know, there's a lot of development pieces there. It looks like Ty Bates was one of the top people to recruit him, him and Brendan Hall. And so that tells you that they were trying to go after somebody that likes to hit. And that's kind of the thing I want to focus on in this film. As I watch Michael Patterson McDonald, MPM, we'll just keep it MPM for the rest of the video. Every time I watch MPM go out here, one thing I enjoyed the most about his film is that he be hitting folks. Like, he has no fear in hitting. Like, I mean, of course, the first couple of plays you see from him is those nice interceptions he had where he has really good vision and he breaks on the ball quickly and gets that pick. But he likes to hit people. And yes, I love a guy that can hit an out route and snatch the ball and take it away. But I like a safety that likes to hit. We've raved and we have Reggie Pearson Jr. on here talking about hitting folks. And we've raved about that. But that's something I've noticed that this staff is really going after. They want those defenders that are willing to go level folks. Like, I mean, cool highlights of showing you deflect passes and everything. I want a dude that's going to run in and make the tackle, wrap up, and get the running back down in the backfield. We want those tackles for loss. That's been a big thing on the Venables agenda and that entire defense's mindset. If you can get tackles for loss, hopefully you can get them on third down as well. Boom. You get a lot of punts. Offense can go out there, get a bunch of yards, get lots of points. You're going to start blowing people out. Now that we have even more depth, man, going into the SEC, I can see Michael really, really stepping up long term. He is definitely a good depth piece. Um, he's got some, up, of, of course, uphill battle because we have some really good safeties, but I think he's one that can compete. He'll compete in a lot of capacities, and that's kind of what I'm looking for out of him because, like I said, he likes to hit. He's leveling dudes across the middle. He's not He's not afraid to you know just take people down. He's here for the hit. So the excitement we got for him is that he's a tackler. And so having him at safety, I mean, it, it puts him in a lot of different positions. He can read the ball. And I think Brandon Hall can do put some work in with him. He'll be be able to learn from the likes of like the Peyton Bowens of the world, Robert Spears Jennings, and you, you've got a whole bunch of you know key safeties that should be around next season that will teach him uh, the ways. And so I'm stoked to see it. I really hope uh, he gets some opportunities, especially to go out and play. But the good thing is he's going to the SEC. He'll have a couple years to truly develop at that level. And uh, yeah, we're going to be excited about him. I, like I said, I love his vision. I love that he's willing to hit and uh, he keeps his eye on the ball. He can catch it. So that's Michael Patterson McDonald, MPM. That's the boy. Hop in the comments. Let your boy know what's your thoughts on this pickup. We got another okay prep here. That is to me the biggest deal out of all of this. He's an okay prep. He's staying at home. That's what you want. And so, also, he's a part of that three-headed monster I talked about a while back. You had Caden Durham. You got David Stoney. You got him. And honestly, we could throw a fourth with Xavier Robinson. And so, getting Xavier Robinson to commit, we've got MPM now. So, you got those two from Oklahoma in the 24 class that it's going to be a huge deal, man. I want more Oklahoma players to stay. 
I want this staff to do a good job of keeping them in town. And so far they are. As I mentioned before, he is the 17th commitment that we have for this class and this class is growing. Talk to, I was on the Friday, Olipop Fizz Friday with uh, Parker Thune from OU Insider. And the anticipation is this class is going to be in the 20, 26 to 28 range. I'm wondering if we go for 30, but I don't know. This is the last year that we can go past 25 and get a whole bunch of kids. And so I'm sensing we're going to chase a lot of depth, but we'll see what Coach BV and them does. But this is number 17 in the class. We're moving up the charts and we're just anticipating now all of the additional big ones coming down the line from Williams Winery to David Stone to uh, Josh Isosa, Grant Bricks, Nigel Smith. August is going to be a busy, busy, busy month. So if you are new to the channel, you made it this far, hit the like button as well. Subscribe as well as hit that bell notification. That's way you don't miss any of these videos coming down the line. We'll be talking a bunch of college football going forward. Sundays, we do our live stream. So we love to have you. You can see it in the description here. Love that. We also got a discord in the link in the description below. Join us for the conversations. We're just going to be talking ball. It's small for right now. So don't be afraid. If you're willing to grow with us, it will be well worth your time. And so YouTube says, watch one of these videos. I highly recommend it because, you know, I did it for you all. We'll drop more videos probably every day. Let's keep your eyes open. Peace.